today marks the five-year anniversary for Listen Lucy. For five years, I have shared my story of battling mental illness in the most honest, candid, and sometimes ridiculous way and use my chaos in hopes to help prevent other people's chaos. In five years, I have been smacked in the face by stigma and blown away by the progress. I have been brought to my knees by my own mental illness and have spoken to people who have found comfort in me live streaming my life. It has been quite the trip. I have thousands of followers. I have published two books. I have spoken to, I have no idea how many people I've spoken to, but it's been a lot. I have hosted so many events from workshops to fundraisers. I have been featured on major media outlets and have turned into the person I have always wanted to be and I am so proud and I am celebrating. While looking ahead for what is next with Lucy, my mind is clear. I have a new direction and new set of goals which I am so excited about and I will be sharing those with you as soon as they start to take form. But today, I really want to talk about the state of my mental illness. Right now, I am going through it. I've had some eye-opening conversations over the past couple of weeks that have stopped me in my tracks and have caused me to reevaluate how I'm living my life and admit that maybe my health hasn't been a priority. Talking about this is not easy for me. I am super uncomfortable right now because it's really difficult for me to try to get people to understand how my brain works. It's even difficult for me to understand how my brain works sometimes. My mind races, but in a different way than people who don't have a mental illness. If I slow down, my mind tells me I'm a loser and a failure and starts asking me why I think I'm special enough to make an impact on the world. It consumes me, it keeps me awake at night, and tells me I should give up. When I explain this to the people around me and they don't understand, which is definitely not their fault, it leaves me feeling lonely and wanting to isolate, and I'm currently fighting those feelings. What I've realized is that I keep myself so busy with millions of things on my to-do list and overbook myself with events and interviews and projects so that I don't have to sit with my mind. Because in the silence, my mental illness haunts me. Now, I won't be this way forever. It will pass. I know it will, and I'm confident in my ability to endure. I'm sharing this with you because I think this conversation is important around mental health. I think it's important for me to put my illness into words the best way I can to help people who don't get it to understand and to allow the community of those battling mental illness to see that I am successful, but I still battle. I have a healthy, educated relationship with my illness, but that doesn't mean I'm cured or it doesn't get to me. Also, when my anxiety takes over, and I need to say this out loud for myself as well, when my anxiety takes over, that does not mean I'm weak or that I have failed. It means I need to put my head down and power through because my anxiety does not define me and it will not tell me what I can and cannot accomplish. So it's going to take some time, but I'm going to adjust and evolve and figure this out. I decided to make this video and share this because I want my platform to take the power out of the struggle I face. I want people to see that it's okay to admit that you're going through some shit. It's okay to smile and laugh about it. It's okay to look fine on the outside but be saying, what the hell, on the inside. I want people to see my face and know that this is the face of someone that is battling, but also the face of someone who will not be swallowed whole by the illness I am fighting against a little harder than usual. I want people to see this message and understand mental illness a bit better. Is it weird for me to be sharing this? I have no idea. It feels weird. Is it important? I truly believe it is. I want to be a resource. I have fought stigma for five years. I have encouraged people to share their story, to not be ashamed, and to accept themselves for five years. So I think it makes sense for me to sit weirdly in front of a camera and tell you that I am not okay right now. But I'm working on it. And look how much I've accomplished in spite of and because of my illness. I want to thank you all for supporting my dream, for having my back, and seeing value in my message. I want to thank the Listen Lucy community who has blown me away by their bravery and to the writers of ListenLucy.org for sharing their stories with the world. I cannot believe I've been doing this for five years. 
thank you for allowing me to share my story and to speak on something I am so passionate about. Thank you for celebrating my victories and helping me bounce back from my struggles. I cannot wait to show you what we have in store for the next five years. It's going to be good.